my question is, what effect is this going to have on teachers' jobs and teachers' salary? I thought it was quite interesting to think that, I don't know, I don't think the county got it, the city got this. Something. One thing they said in here was teachers will not lose their jobs, tenure, or pension. This will not happen. Well, I can assure you that, as I said repeatedly, there will be winners and losers, and unfortunately, there will be more losers. People will lose their jobs, as uh, Troy very eloquently stated. There will be a loss of administrators. There will be a loss of teachers. There will be a loss of support staff, unfortunately. We cannot, as I said, we cannot employ everybody who is currently employed in the school, both school systems. Because if we did, and we did all these other things that we're currently doing, plus the things that QE has proposed in their wish list, it would take 28 mills in order to do that. Now, Troy told you that by law, we're, we're regulated to go no higher than 21 mills. So we couldn't possibly do all that. We've got some tough decisions to make, and there will be people who will be affected as a result of a loss of employment throughout this process. Now, I know that uh, this afternoon, shortly before the meeting started, uh, I will commend QE on their transparency. They are very transparent. I get a copy, and I think Dr. Casey gets a copy of everything that they send out. Uh, a comment was made by one of their chief leaders that basically said that what you're going to hear here tonight is not the truth, so therefore they're going to send out these flyers to tell you the truth. Now, the truth is that... Uh, they are members of the teacher's retirement system. They do have rights based on the Fair Dismissal Act. But we have a policy in place in, the Val in, in both the Valdosta City School System and the Lowndes County School System. It's called a RIF policy. It's a reduction in force. Unfortunately, uh, the last three years, because of the economy, we've had to activate that policy. Now, we did it in what I think is a very diplomatic manner. We offered a financial incentive of 10% to any teacher who was willing to retire. This was an incentive. And we've had over the last three years about 80 teachers that have taken advantage of that so that it didn't affect as many people as it could have affected. But we do have a reduction in force policy, and if we subsequently have more people employed than we need to employ, we will activate the reduction in force policy, and subsequently it could mean the loss of jobs. 